Hi, Simone here from Study in Australia TV. In this episode today, episode 9, we'll discuss study discipline information and career options across architecture, building design and construction, creative arts and humanities programs. In this episode, we'll give you an overview of programs in these areas, what professional associations are relevant to those programs upon graduation, and what career pathways and job options are available in Australia if you stay on after your studies and access the post-study work visa if you're an international student. Remember the program information we'll cover is general in nature, so can vary between universities, but it will give you a good overview of the areas you can study in Australia and what career or job it may lead to. Okay, so now let's start with architecture, building design and construction. Architecture programs in Australia are devised in collaboration with the Australian Institute of Architects and building programs developed with the Australian Institute of Building or AIB. Specialisations available in this discipline area include architecture, building design, building surveying, construction management, environmental planning, landscape design, interior design, project management, town planning and urban and regional planning. Architecture combines the creative design and technical knowledge to create sustainable built environments. Architectural design is about understanding landscapes and the way humans create places within the environment which includes landscape, architecture, urban design, and structural works in our societies. To work as an architect, students must complete five years of architectural study, which in most universities is split between a three-year undergraduate degree in architectural studies and then a two-year master of architecture. There is also a practical work requirement before registration is granted by the Australian Institute of Architects. A similar pathway applies for landscape architects with the completion of the three-year Bachelor of Architectural Studies followed by the Master of Landscape Architecture. Interior architecture is an allied field but specifically focuses on the design, documentation, management and the implementation of the interior spaces. Interior designers find work in architectural practices, interior design practices and building companies. Project management of building works is very important for the successful design and building of a project, both from a time and money perspective. Project managers are expected to take charge of the complex tasks and keep the building progress on track. All of these skill areas culminate with the actual building of the project known as construction management. Building construction is a complex, highly organized commercial industry and graduates can work professionally in quantity or building surveying, construction management, building technology, building structures, building surveying and housing. Overarching all of these is the urban and regional planning aspect of town planning. Planners shape cities, towns and regions through the management of development, infrastructure and services for improved quality of life and sustainable environments. This also incorporates transport planning and management and environmental planning. There are many aligned programs in the architecture building and planning fields across VET, undergraduate and postgraduate levels. The VET sector offers programs in specific trades associated with the building construction industry. These are offered as traditional programs as well as through traineeships where students learn on the job. Examples of programs offered at this level include Certificate for in Building and Construction, Diploma of Building Design, Diploma of Interior Design, Diploma of Landscape Design, and Advanced Diploma of Building Design. Examples of undergraduate level programs in architecture 
Design and Building include Bachelor of Architectural Studies, Bachelor of Building, Bachelor of Construction Management, Bachelor of Design in Landscape Architecture, Bachelor of Project Management, Bachelor of Technology in Construction, Bachelor of Technology and Innovation, Bachelor of Town Planning, Bachelor of Urban and Regional Planning. Examples of postgraduate programs in architecture, design and building include Master of Architecture, Master of Construction Management, Master of Landscape Architecture, Master of Property Development and Planning, Master of Project Management, Master of Regional Development and Master of Urban Design. Graduates in Architecture, Design and Building may be eligible for membership of one of the following professional bodies. Architecture, Australian Institute of Architects, Australian Institute of Landscape Architects or AILA, Commonwealth Association of Architects or CAA, Design Institute of Australia or DIA, New Zealand Institute of Architects or NZIA, Royal Architectural Institutes of Canada or RAIC, American Institute of Architects or AIA, the Indian Institute of Architects or IIA, Pertubuhan Architect, Malaysia or PAM, Singapore Institute of Architects or SIA. Building. Australian Institute of Building or AIB, Australian Institute of Building Surveyors or AIBS, Australian Institute of Quantity Surveyors or AIQS, Master Builders of Australia or MBA, National Association of Women in Construction or NAWIC, Chartered Institute of Building or CIOB, Chartered Institute of Building or CIOB UK, American Institute of Building Design or AIBD. In a later episode, we'll cover professional associations in more depth so you can understand more about the professional requirements for students upon graduation from various programs. Typical career opportunities in the architecture, design and building fields in Australia are architect, builder, building and construction manager, building surveyor, interior designer, landscape architect, project manager, surveyor, town planner and urban and regional planner. Now let's talk about the creative industry disciplines. The creative industry is quite broad and involves the arts and cultural professions. Students are assessed through a variety of methods including performance, exhibitions, presentations and written assessments. Specialisations include acting, animation, arts, broadcasting, ceramics, theatre, contemporary craft, costume, dance, design, desktop publishing, digital media design, entertainment, events, fashion design, film and video production, fine arts, graphic design, jewellery, lighting and sound, multimedia, performing arts, printing, screenwriting, visual arts, photography and music. VET programs in the creative industry disciplines are offered either directly through TAFE and private colleges or through traineeships and internships. Examples of courses include Certificate 4 in Live Production, Diploma of Arts in Ceramics, Diploma of Dance, Diploma of Fashion Design, Diploma of Music Industry in Performance, Diploma of Visual Arts, an advanced diploma of screen and media. Many universities and art and design colleges offer a variety of specializations in their creative arts programs. Examples of undergraduate programs in the creative industries include Bachelor of Arts in Film Studies, 
Bachelor of Arts in Fine Art, Bachelor of Arts in Performing Arts, Bachelor of Arts in Photography, Bachelor of Arts in Screen and Media, Bachelor of Arts in Social Media, Bachelor of Design, Bachelor of Design in Product Design, Bachelor of Graphic Design, Bachelor of Multimedia Design, Bachelor of Music, Bachelor of Performing Arts, and Bachelor of Visual Arts. Examples of postgraduate programs in the creative industries include Graduate Certificate of Music Studies, Graduate Diploma of Music Performance, Master of Design in Contemporary Art, Master of Design in Media and Communications, Master of Design in Industrial Design, Master of Screen and Media Production, and Master of Visual Arts. Graduates in the creative industries may be eligible for membership of one of the following professional bodies. Design. Australian Graphic Design Association or AGDA. American Institute of Graphic Art or AIGA. Chartered Society of Designers or CSD UK. Designers Institute or DINZ. International Council of Graphic Design Associations or ICOGRADA. Graphic Designers of Canada or GDC. Performing Arts. Arts Hub Australia. Theatre Australia. Allied Artists of America or AAA. Arts Council England. Association of Asia Pacific Performing Arts Centres or AAPPAC. European Council of Artists or ECA. International Directory of Performing Arts Collectors and Institutes or SIBMAS, International Society of Performing Arts or ISPA, Performing Arts Network of New Zealand or PANNZ, Visual Arts, National Association for the Visual Arts or NAVA Australia, Artists Alliance Australia. Typical career opportunities in the creative industry fields in Australia are quite varied and include actor, animator, art curator, artist, cinematographer, composer, dancer, designer, editor, exhibition designer, fashion designer, film director, film producer, graphic designer, illustrator, Jeweler, musician, photographer, potter, screenplay writer, sculptor, singer, and sound engineer. The last program area we'll talk about today is the humanities, social science, and education disciplines. The humanities, social science, and education disciplines cover a range of specializations involving the study of people, cultures, and institutions. Specialisations include communications, community services, counselling, education, journalism, languages, social work, psychology. Undertaking a course in education and training prepares students for the world of education where they will train to become confident facilitators of teaching and learning. Students develop strong skills in communication and organisation and expertise in a range of topics to teach learners at various stages of life. 13 Australian universities are ranked in the world's top 100 for education, which indicates the quality of programs of Australian universities. Education and training is also one of Australia's fastest growing industries, so many opportunities are available after graduation. In recent years, the Australian Government has invested billions into schools to help build innovative learning environments. In the education field, students can choose to be an educator in various age groups and settings. Early childhood learning, primary education, secondary education, vocational training, 
higher education. Becoming a teacher is one of society's most important roles. Given the role is concentrated on communicating with students, it's important that international students have a high level of English. Most Bachelor of Education programs require an IELTS 7.0 overall with 7.0 in all band scores. For students that are interested in education programs, it's likely they will need to do some ELECOS or English language study prior to commencement. Another area that focuses on language are the journalism communications and professional writing programs. Journalists and writers work in mainstream media and communication fields. Skills in professional writing can be applied to allied professions such as editor, presenter, copywriter, scriptwriter, and marketing and communications. In the human services fields like social work, counselling and psychology for instance, students focus on connections between human behaviour, social structures and social policy and how these relationships impact individuals, families, communities and organisations. Social workers work with people in society that have problems and issues around homelessness, juvenile justice, child protection, domestic violence, aged care and mental health issues. Counselling is a talking therapy that involves a trained therapist listening to people with problems and helping to find ways to deal with emotional issues. Psychologists seek to understand and explain thoughts, emotions, feelings and behaviours and recommend remedies to help support patients with psychological conditions. To become a registered clinical psychologist, students are required to complete a Master's in Clinical Psychology after graduating from a Bachelor of Psychological Sciences with Honours. VET programs in the humanities, social science and education fields include Certificate 3 in Community Services in Aged Care Diploma of Children's Services Diploma of Counselling Diploma of Early Childhood Education Diploma of Languages Diploma of Library and Information Services Universities offer a wide range of undergraduate programs in the humanities, social science and education disciplines. Examples of undergraduate degrees in the humanities, social science and education disciplines include Bachelor of Arts in Digital and Social Media, Bachelor of Arts in Community Development, Bachelor of Communications, Bachelor of Creative Writing, Bachelor of Education in Early Childhood, Bachelor of Education in Primary School Years, Bachelor of Education in Middle Years, Bachelor of Education in Secondary School, Bachelor of Languages, Bachelor of Journalism, Bachelor of Professional Writing, Bachelor of Psychology, Bachelor of Social Work, Examples of postgraduate degrees in the humanities, social science and education disciplines include Master of Arts in Applied Linguistics, Master of Communications, Master of Creative Writing, Master of International Development, Master of International Studies, Master of Journalism, Master of Political Science, Master of Public and Social Policy, Master of Clinical Psychology, and Master of Social Work. Many specialised programmes offered through universities involve a practical component, particularly those programmes like Education, Social Work, or Psychology. Teacher training in the Bachelor of Education require a number of placements in schools throughout the programme so that students can experience and learn from real life settings. In a similar way,
placements for the Bachelor of Social Work expose students to real life situations where they can learn how to deal with a range of issues from qualified social workers. Graduates in the humanities, social science and education disciplines may be eligible for membership in the following professional bodies. Language and Literature, Association for the Study of Australian Literature or ASAL. Association for the Study of Literature, Environment and Culture, Australia and New Zealand or ASLE, ANZ. Alliance of Literary Societies or ALS UK. American Literature Association or ALA. Australian Political Studies Association. International Association for Political Science Students or IAPSS. International Political Science Associations or IPSA. Political Studies Association or PSA UK. Psychology. Australian Psychological Society or APS. American Psychological Association or APA. European Federation of Psychologists Associations or EFPA. International Association of Applied Psychology or IAAP. Sociology. The Australian Sociological Association or TASA. American Sociological Association or ASA. European Sociological Association or ESA. International Sociological Association or ISA. Welfare Services, Australian Association of Social Workers or AASW, Australian Council of Social Service or ACOSS, International Council of Social Welfare or ICSW, International Federation of Social Workers or IFSW. Education, European Educational Research Association or EEFA. Australian Teacher Education Association or ATEA. Association for Tertiary Education Managers or ATEM. National Education Association or NEAUS. Typical career opportunities in the humanities, social science and education fields in Australia are aged and disability carer, child care worker, community welfare officer, counsellor, English as a second language teacher, refuge worker, interpreter, linguist, psychologist, social worker, special education teacher, teacher and youth and disability worker. So that's the end of Study in Australia TV episode 9 on the Australian Study Disciplines Career Options and Professional Associations in Architecture, Building Design and Construction, Creative Arts and Humanities, and Social Science Programs. I hope you learn a lot about the different areas you can study and the options for working in Australia if you stay on and apply for the post-study work visa. Please let us know if you have any questions on this information or need any guidance. We'd love to hear from you and can always help you to find the right program to study in Australia. Bye for now.